Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is 4 a.m. and I'm going to teach you how to farm in Bannerlord Online. Kind of just the basics and for you to kind of understand how the whole payment system works. So obviously to farm in Bannerlord Online, you have to go to a village. You enter the village, you find this man right over here, the headman. You talk to him, you ask, hey, you got any work for me? And he will give you this message. As you can see, we produce wheat, growing requires Hilling, which is pretty much digging, uh, planting, watering, harvesting. And you can see the prices you will get for doing each thing. And then do you agree with this? Sure, we could press I agree. But before we move on, you get this payment when the, uh, the wheat, the product itself, reaches um, kind of like the, how can I explain this? The place where you have to um, put it or deposit it at kind of the wheat deposit area, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Let's press I agree. There you go, and he tells you there's tools. Now let's go over the tools real quick. So, first you have, let me get off this horse. Boop. This right over here is the sickles. You press F to pick these up. This is what you collect wheat with when it turns, um, I guess, ready or yellow or golden, whatever you wanna call it. You press G to drop your current, a uh, what would you call it? Your current tools. This is the hoe, you use the hoe to dig. You go over here, you prepare the soil. And there you go, you digged it. Drop this, this is the water, and we're about to go fill it up because you need to fill it up for it to actually work. But before we go to fill it up, Right over here is the station where you drop off your uh, wheat, your ready wheat that you get with your sickle. Now, the water can be collected in the uh, river right over there. And once it is collected, I'm going to show you, you know, how it kind of works. A lot of this is self-explanatory really. I'm just going over the real basics and then I'm gonna go over how the payments work exactly. We fill up the jug. There it is. And now you just go over to either where, um, uh, what's it called, a hole that you just dug, or uh, what also requires water is um, planted seeds, which look like this. As you can see, you can water these, or you can water these. There it is. Let's just water it. You water a couple of these. There we go. Boom, we watered a couple of those. So you have five watered, and then you will need to go again to water more, but we're not gonna do that. Now, for seeds, if you want to be the planter, the seeds are located on this car right over here. You get the seeds, boom. And then, um, I don't know if anybody has watered some of these. I probably should have watered one of these for the example. But usually, if, uh, first you have to water one of these. So I might have to go on that side to, uh, Show that example, because I'm not trying to go all the way back to the water. But once one of the um, one of these dirt piles, kind of in a way, are watered, you can plant the seeds, like so, and they will turn into one of these. So pretty much the life cycle of this is you dig, you dig, or uh, you uh, hill, I guess that's the word for it, with the hoe. Then uh, you fill up some water, you water it, then you, um, what's it called, plant a seed, it turns into one of these, then you have to water it again, and once you water it again, it turns into this right over here, the ripe wheat that you can collect like he did over there. Now, let's talk about payments. So, um, I'm gonna probably cancel this work thing and then go back to where his payments are just to kind of show you exactly how that works. Okay, so currently I should have zero for my work, right? Okay, so I currently I have zero. I'm gonna hit not yet, just for a quick example. And as you can see, you remember we planted these five right over here, right? And he's collecting them. So what we did to these was we watered them. Well, no, we first planted seeds and then we watered them. So now uh, we're gonna receive money for that when he collects this and puts this in the barn. Since we helped with that uh, harvest, 
when he puts it in there, we're going to earn money from it. So there it is. And since we helped with that crop, we're going to get our share. So we go over here, talk about the work. As you can see, we earned 85. We're going to take that. Now let's go back to the work screen right over here. So here's how it is. As I told you, the growing process um, is you have to first hill or dig, then you have to water, water the ground, then you plant a seed, and then you have to water again, and then you harvest. Now, as you can see, for each thing that you do, you get a certain amount of gold. And um, pretty much, you get this gold when um, the harvest is done. If you were to do every single step of the harvest of one wheat, you would get 15 for digging the hole, you get 17 for watering it, then you get 15 more for planting it, then you get 17 again for watering it, and then you get 20 for harvesting it. So pretty much, if you did the whole process, you would get the whole amount. But usually that's not how it works. You usually have a lot of people working with you. So the more you do, and the longer you stay for everything to actually get harvested, the more you will receive. Now, where is the best place to actually farm? This is very simple, and I like how they're doing it on this server. This is not a good place to farm. Why? Because during the uh, farming process, you need to water um, your stuff twice. So it's better to be closer to water than the drop-off point for um, the wheat. Because the drop-off point, you only need two or three guys doing this. It's always the end task, and um, it's fine to just run back and forth. But what you need a lot of always, like I said, is water. And why people are always on this side, um, especially right now, before when the server started, everybody was on that side. Why people are always on this edge side right over here is because the water is super close. As you can see, it's right over here and you can fill up that fast and uh, get that process going. But if you were obviously on that field, we'll run to it real quick, you're gonna see the distance is way, way farther. And it's just, you know, it's not really convenient at all. You have to run really far away compared to, you know, pretty much literally the five steps you have to take over there. Now, in terms of division of labor, so in my opinion, I think, um, let's say, for example, if you were to have, I would say six people, right? Let's say six people or five people. You know, uh, in the beginning villages, like the ones that are close to the town, there's usually more people. But if you get farther and farther away, it's less and less people. Let's say you had six people. What you should do is you should have one person digging. These right over here. Um, and then you should have, I would say, three people on water. Again, since you need water the most and it's needed twice in the farming process, I would get three people on water. And since they have to do kind of more of the running, three people on water one person on seed and one person collecting that's the best way and what i would even do that person that's collecting i would wait on the collecting process and i would either join water or um the seed or digging process you can add to that um really the guy who picks up he's good in the end but if you guys are just starting the process on a farm there's no point for him to actually just be sitting around with a sickle doing nothing it's good for him to, to do it now because obviously this is piled up so it makes sense for him to do it and i'm even going to go do it now probably after this tutorial ends but there it is that is how you farm it's a lot of information kind of in an organ unorganized way more chill way it's literally 4 a.m it is what it is but i wanted to make it and uh yeah let me know if you have any more questions uh like stated water is very important um for the payments you get the payments for your share of what you did whenever the harvest is actually made and uh there it is. Hopefully you enjoyed. And obviously when you're done and you want to leave, you go up to this guy again and you say you're done like we did earlier. You agree when you start and then when you want to leave, you say yes and then he'll tell you what you earned. Boom. And then you're done. And that's how you do it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Ask me questions and concerns. And like always, stay safe.